So I've got a pallet. Four boxes on one wooden pallet. This one's kind of intriguing, okay? The title of this pallet from the liquidator was Cameras, Electronics, and General Merchandise. So that's pretty much uh, kind of vague, kind of not, kind of what are, is gonna be in these four boxes. Cameras, Electronics, General Merchandise. So it kind of sounds like maybe a hodgepodge with electronics in it. Maybe a couple of cool things? I don't know. But it was intriguing though. It was intriguing. And I didn't pay that much for it. It made it even better. But the total MSRP of these four boxes, if everything was brand new, this is Amazon Custom Returns, $1,876. That is the full MSRP. But this is Custom Returns, so there's gonna be used items very few, but there will be some broken and some just brand new package damage and some stuff will be completely brand new. What I paid though, $188. That's it. That includes my taxes, fees, 10% buyer's premium, no shipping costs. I buy locally, I pick up in person. 10% of MSRP is all I paid. So that's fantastic. So with the vagueness of cameras, electronics, and general merchandise, I was like, you know what, let's take the gamble. Let's take the gamble, why not? And also, not really a big announcement, but an announcement, www.franchisekicks.com is now active. I actually will be slowly transitioning all of my dot-com selling platforms, like my eBay, Amazon, everything, over to that site as time goes on. It's gonna be transitioning. There's nothing actually listed yet, no liquidation items listed there yet, but there's gonna be here very shortly. So I'm going to basically shut down my eBay and my Amazon stores as I transfer stuff over to my own website because I was like, you know what? I'm tired of paying eBay between 10 and 14% selling fees, Amazon between 35 and 45% selling fees. And I say, you know what? Let me just give a go at my own website. So it's active but there's actual no listings yet as of the filming of this video. But there is one listing that's available. There is, if you're into toys and Funko Pops, if you're into mystery boxes, uh, August 26, 2019, there will be a run of Funko Pop mystery boxes that we'll be releasing, and they look just like this. This is one of 30 that's pre-packaged, ready to go, with the Franchise Kicks logo on the box. So all 30 will go live on August 26th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, first 30 people to check out, one per household, one per order. Print out the label, slap it on a random box. So you can see all the pops that are available on the website right now. So small little plug for mystery boxes coming up here in literally just, just a few days, a couple days. So my first run of mystery boxes, sold out in one minute and 21 seconds. So heads up, if you want to try your hand at a mystery box with Funko Pops, only Funko Pops are in this mystery box, you better uh, buy one within the first minute because last time I sold out very, very quickly. So here we go, four boxes. Cameras, electronics, general merchandise. It's a gamble, but let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, this first box kind of looks uh, kind of hodgepodgey, but it's not a bad thing. First, we've got an indoor FM antenna. So usually everything I would be saying is sold on all the usual platforms, eBay, Amazon, but as of right now, I probably won't be listing. Like I've actually have already shut down my eBay and my Amazon stores. I just need to transfer all the those listings to my website as time goes on. So it might take a few weeks. It might take a month for everything's transferred over and everything goes live. So from that point on, everything from these videos will be on my website. And if it's not there, it's either hasn't been listed yet or hasn't, uh, or it's been sold already. But not every item will be on my website though. Like some items that sell for five bucks, I won't sell on the website just because of online selling fees, 
credit card processing fees, all that jazz. That stuff I will be selling locally because cheaper items just don't do well online sales because of all of the actual selling fees, shipping, packaging, all that. So um, that's I'm done rambling about the website, but I just wanted to just have a little talk about it just because I'm kind of excited about it and I can't wait to get it up and going to actually have like my own website where you can buy stuff from. So this first item on Amazon, it it doesn't even pull it up. Uh, it does it. Oh, here it is, Turk. Omnidirectional 20, I'm seeing a couple things. It's either 24.99 or 29.99. But yeah, so this is gonna be about 30 bucks new. The package is a little bit damaged, so used probably about 20 bucks on that. Keepsake ornament set still factory sealed though too little hippo ornament set I'm kind of curious about this too and I did not pull it up I just did kind of like a like a camera search of the of uh, Amazon inventory so that's probably maybe 15 20 bucks on that oh factory sealed this is 100% factory sealed right here this is just a private label though. The brand is called Mimi Care Multicolor Nightlight. Still completely factory sealed. Has not been opened up yet. Probably a good 10 bucks on that. Something like that I probably just sell locally just because, I mean, you know, online selling and shipping and all that. It's sometimes it's easier just to sell it locally. Power adapter. But it all varies though. This is still factory sealed. The jars now are loose. This says there's an eight ounce and a nine ounce amber jar inside this box. Has not been opened up yet, but the jars in it are loose. And I hear uh, several pieces moving on the inside. So it sounds like one of these jars is probably broken. Yeah, so I'll look at the thing closer later on. See how bad it is. Oh, here we go with some electronics. Cool, we got a Dirt Devil Scorpion. It's a nice item. That's a good good little trinket right there. So I'm sure this is one of the ones that is considered electronics from the title. Scorpion sells new for $29.99. Packaging this thing's a little bit beat up. It's used. I'll try to make sure it works, but if it works okay, it's still good, probably 15 bucks, even in uh, used condition. Next. What we got? Ammonia. Oh, here we go. Ammonia pillow top mattress pads twin. So this is, it's still factory sealed. So I don't want to open it up because it's factory sealed still. But we got Ammonia pillow top mattress pads twin. Something like that. I can usually get about 20 bucks for something like that. So we need some more electronics. Preset timer switch, kind of like, like electronics, kind of. Jumbo washable hot pink stamp pad. It's kind of like office supplies right there. Oh, cool. We have a red dot to put onto like a rifle. As long as it's functioning properly. Sure, it needs batteries or something to put in this thing, but the brand on this thing is just Red Dot. And literally, it does what it says. It shoots out a red dot, and you have to uh, dial this thing in to your firearm, so wherever the dot touches, that's where it hits. But most of these, you have to actually dial it in to yours. OTW Red Dot Sight. Let me look this thing up. Okay, look this thing up on Amazon. Looks like it sells for about $39.99. Uh, I try to find one as close as possible as I could. It has no barcode on it. But if it sells new for $40, uh, like I'd probably get like $30 bucks out of that pretty easily. We have a package of airplane drone pro propeller accessories. So here's this extra propellers for a drone. Oh, there's something. 
Looks like Ritva is the brand. Oh, it's an Ikea brand. So it's Ikea. Oh, is it a shower curtain? It's a shower curtain. Oh, I didn't, I didn't think that. But yeah, it's a Ritva shower curtain designed and made of by Ikea. Last item, box one. We have a battery powered desk fan. It's actually a good 10 bucks right there actually. And school just started back up and there's gonna be a lot of uh, college kids that need fans for their desks because the dorm rooms, at least back when I was in college 20 years ago, the dorm rooms, the dorm rooms got hot because we had no air conditioning in our dorm rooms still. Because that was back in 1998. And Indiana State University at Bloomberg Hall, we had no AC and that room got hot. So we had plenty of fans going in that room. But 20 years ago, I'm sure they have air conditioned now and it's probably very, very cold. So anyway, in a box one, let's do box two. Number two. So first box was uh, kind of hodgepodgey. One of the best. So we haven't really, we haven't gotten out a camera yet. Electronics, the first box had a couple of electronic-y type of items, so. This one actually has brown paper in it. Most of the boxes now are lacking the brown paper. <laughs> Most of this box is brown paper. This looks like uh, baby and pool accessories in this box. First one, we've got a life vest for a small child. It's like a Spider-Man little spin topper. It's like very, very... Makes noise. I don't think it's supposed to. Then we have... Oh man, like you can make uh, little cookies or whatever you want to mold for. Tub, tub Cuddy. Cubby. Teach in the tub. Hmm. A briar. Oh, we got one of these briar horses. He's actually. What's broken off of it? I think some of its mane might be broken off. Um, but, uh, no, actually it's not. It's just the tie down, the little clips that actually hold it in if it's factory sealed. It's actually not broken. But okay, so that thing, uh, it needs to be reorganized inside a little bit. So I might put bubble wrap around the horse. That was actually nice of them. So that it wouldn't get broken. That's how much thing sells for. Okay, Spirit Briar sells for $30.93. So if it sells new for $30, I'll probably get 20 bucks for it. But to make sure, check it over, make sure it's good to go. But it looks like that little noise you hear, it's actually just the straps in there that are just shaking around a little bit. Oh, shoot! We got a Wii U controller. Uh oh! Wii U! I've actually have never gotten a Wii U before out of a uh, liquidation. Is there any power cords for it? It's just loose in here. What's this? Oh, it fell out of the sack completely. Here's the power cord for it. For the console? Yeah, okay. So that matches up with the console. So here's the power cord. The console, console, does have some wear and tear to it though. It's got a little bit of damage to it. I don't think I even have a Wii U game. Is there anything else in this box? When it say electronics, I think I found the electronics part. So how do you charge this part? Or is it missing the charger, I wonder? It might be, there's no charger for this thing. Hit power button, looks like it's totally dead. I gotta figure out how to charge. I'm gonna plug plug this thing in, just right here, just to see if it powers up. Because if this thing does not power up, then this part is just gonna be sold for parts. If it powers up, I'm gonna have to wait until I get a Wii U game, 
because I don't think I have any Wii U games. Actually, a lot of Goodwills have Wii U games for like a couple bucks. So, here goes nothing. Power cord goes in. Where's the, oh, there's the power button. Blue light came on. I can actually hear it spinning in there too. Is there a disc? There's no disc in it, but I can, I can actually can hear the mechanism that like that, that shoots out the disc. Hear that? I'm not sure if you can. So the disc eject is functional. Um, so I gotta figure out how do I charge this thing? I guess if I has a, a, a different charger for it. So now I'm gonna have to get, so let's take this HDMI cord, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to go out and get a Wii U game at Goodwill for a few bucks. Probably buy a charger for this thing on Amazon, like a cheap replacement charger, and uh, see if this thing works or not. I'm trying to see if it powers down. Well, it powers down perfectly fine. So it starts up fine, it powers down fine. Does it read the games? We'll find out later, I guess. So looking this thing up, without a box, just as it sits, looks like I can sell just the console part for between 30 to $40 used. If both these things work, you can actually, and the power cord already put back into the box, but with this and this, looks like these two things, if they both work, it goes between 60 and 80 dollars more higher in like 80 dollar thing but there's some like there is some like where it's just this and that is it i'm seeing some sell for like 70 dollars so it looks like i could probably put a buy it now as long as these both work and get whatever charger this thing needs to power it up charge and power it uh, i'm gonna try to get like 80 bucks for it so that's not bad i will take this so next item so that was cool item to get out we've got some pool time accessories and then some uh, suction cups we've got a Halloween costume right here looks like a colonial yeah it is it's a colonial costume let's see we have an excessively ooh, that thing's nasty very used used uh, camelback it was kind of gross Oh, we got some Mardi Gras beads. Then a thing of paint. Looks like that one's been, a few of those have been used in there. So that won't go for much. Another used, like a camelback. It's not bad, bad though. Then some more pool accessories. Some Elmo cups, baby fruit feeder, feed your baby. Okay. Last item in this box, river float. In the summertime, let's return all the pool stuff now after you use it all summer. But so cameras, electronics, and uh, general merchandise. We got the first true awesome electronic item in this palette. A Nintendo U or a Nintendo Wii U, so that's that's cool. Still no cameras yet, if I remember correctly. There has been no cameras in this palette. So there's two boxes left. So maybe one of the last two boxes will have a camera. Let's find out. Next, number three. This one's got paper in it again. The brown paper. Now it's like these boxes randomly have paper. Like for years, every box had this brown paper. And then a couple months ago, they kind of stopped putting brown paper in boxes. And now just randomly, you'll get brown paper again. Oh, this box looks like, uh, wow. Okay, here we have a dryer rack. Put your dishes on. Okay, here we've got, uh, Summertime's over. We have a returned very, very large pool float. Like this, this, this one's a big one. 
So you know what? Sad. This thing will work perfectly fine. It's just it was used all summer, and they now want to return to get their money back because pool accessories, pool floats are used as rentals on Amazon. Customers rent them, and then they return them after summer, and Amazon lets them. Is this another? Don't tell me this. Okay, that's it for this box. There's three things in this box. We had two returned very, very large pool floats. And a dryer for your di a rack. Dryer, disher, dryer rack. Okay, that box is really bad. That's probably one of the worst boxes I've ever seen. It had three things in it. Half, three quarters of the box was just two very large, oversized returned pool float accessories. So, one box left. Believes we got a freaking Wii U though. So, bear right back. Last box. There has not been anything to do with the camera yet. The title of this auction said camera. So this box, I'm guessing, has to have a camera in it. I hope so. After box three, we got paper again. This one better be a freaking home run. Oh, top few things look cool. Okay, okay, okay. Here we got some electronics. We have an inflate tires, fast and easy, as seen on TV. Cordless, no messy wires, air hawk. Does this actually work? I'm curious to try this thing. I'm very curious. Has anybody ever used this? Have you ever seen it? I've never seen this before. First time I've ever received this item in a liquidation palette. Usually, if it's if it is an as seen on TV, and if you see a lot of them in your palettes, it's junk. If you never see it in your liquidation palettes, then it's actually a good item. And I've never seen this before in a liquidation palette. I've never seen it. I'm curious. I'm gonna try this thing out. If it works, I'm probably gonna keep it. Auto tire, auto tire inflator. If you use this thing, comment down below. Junk or good? Your thoughts. Next, another fantastic item. We have a GB40 Boost Jump Starter. I've seen, or I have, I have, you guys have too. I've seen this before on my channel. This is actually kind of a price, oh, it's, is this thing still new? Oh, hold up, hold up. Is this thing not been even charged up yet? Okay, down there is all the charging accessories for it. Yeah, it's all down there. It still has like this little seal all around it, caution seal that you take off before your first charge. I don't think this thing's ever been used yet. I don't think it has. I'm very intrigued now. How much is the price of this thing now? What's prices looking like? Nice, on Amazon. $99 on Amazon for the GB40 Boost Plus Jump Starter. $99, that's a good item. Yeah, so just this item and the Wii U, as long as the Wii U works, everything, these two things should pay for the entire palette. Two items, whole palette paid for so this it, honestly it doesn't even look like it's even been used yet i don't see any type of usage marks it still has the caution like band all around it so i don't think this thing's been used if it sells new for a hundred you know open box item like new condition possibly new like i'd sell for about 80 bucks at least like that's i would ask 80 the first person that walked up that said like 65, 70, I'd probably take it just for the quick flip because I'm all about the quick flick, make that money. Or, uh, yeah, that's a good item. I like that. Next, Flange Wizard. So yeah, those first two things, those were electronics, the Air Hawk tire inflator and then the jump starter. It's kind of like automotive electronics, but it was electronics. And then we've got a flange wizard. What is this? Um, I 
don't know, but it doesn't look cheap. I should probably know what this thing is. Wow, this thing sells on Amazon new for $154.49. Whoa! It sells new for pretty much $155. I think it has been used though. Like there's some like scratches on it. It's been very lightly used though. Let's say on Amazon, uh, it's only being sold as new. There's no used being sold on, on or no, no, there's not. It's all it's all new. So that's expensive. If it sells new for what I say, 145 or 155, like. I would probably try to get like a hundred bucks for it at least. At least a hundred bucks, I bet. Actually, yeah, hundred bucks at least, I bet. Another good item. Let's see. Oh, is that a? I think I think I see the camera. Oh, we got a dog leash. Sports cam, waterproof, full 1080p. Here's kind of like a very very cheap GoPro. Like an off-brand GoPro. Very cheap. So here is probably the camera. More like. But at least they let me, like the electronics, at least they gave me a freaking Nintendo Wii U game system. But here is a camera. Honestly, it's probably like 20 bucks maybe. Not, not that much. Oh, we got a watch. It says 9 West on it. Nine West is a good brand. Ooh, that's nice. That's actually nice. So it has the tags attached to it. So it has that peel off uh, protector on the face of it. Has not been peeled off yet. Still has the tags attached to it. Let me scan and see if I can find it on Amazon. Sells new for $27.99, so it's not very expensive. It looks like a really nice watch though, but it's not very expensive. Sells new for $28. Honestly, I'll probably try to sell this thing for about 20 bucks. It'll sell, it'll sell. It's a nice watch. The next, oh, we have training wheels for a bicycle. You know, a good 10 bucks in that probably. A Flit, F L I T T, flying selfie camera. What is this? Not factory seal, just been retaped by somebody. I never break the factory seals. What is this? A flit has no charge. It feels really, really cheap. What is this thing? Flying selfie camera. I guess. Here's the charger and accessories in the box. There's the flying. There actually is something like this made by, a, what's the company called? Uh, DJO, I think is what it's called. That's much higher quality than this. This is like cheap plastic. This is the kind of thing you crash it, it's it's gonna break. This can't sell, it can't sell for that much. There's no way. It just feels cheap. But watch, it's probably sells for like freaking 100 bucks or something. Sells new for $27. So it's it's very, very cheap. So if it sells new for $27, there's actually a good chance it's already been crashed, and that's why I got returned because it crashed and broke. But brand new for $27, bucks, a selfie camera flying drone it's it's going to be cheap you know if, it, if that if that works you know, like half price like 15 bucks on it we got a e-tech city kitchen scale with like a little bowl on top of it i want to ask the wife to see if she needs a new one of these for any reason she might we got socks oh these things are colorful yeah, my wife's gonna want to keep these if she sees these. Yeah, she's she's gonna want those. That's the kind of socks that she likes to wear. Oh, here's some more socks, Under Armour socks. They're also like the low cut, which the wife likes. 
So yeah, she'll probably ask. She'll keep both both those socks because we always need more socks because we're always losing socks. Oh, this is like the end, a whole bag of like an end of a cane piece. A factory seal bag, leg tips. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Three button remote, Genie. Is that for a garage door? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, it is just a garage door opener. Sells new for 25 bucks. Use condition. It still has the little thingy on it that you pull out. So you can use it the first time, so it's possibly not even used yet. Twenty bucks on it. It's money. Okay, we got a pair of pants right here. With dog hairs all over it. I mean all over. It's like a pair of black pants. It is just Covered in dog hair. Nah, I won't, I won't mess with that. We got a baseball jersey. New with tags, baseball jersey. See the Yankees on it. Oh, cool. We got an Aaron Judge. Size medium baseball jersey. It's the cool base jersey, too. It's actually a nice jersey. Size medium. Aaron Judge. That's actually a nice jersey. It won't fit. If it fit me, I'd actually keep it. Yeah, I'll never be able to wear a size medium. That's nice. Let's look this thing up on Amazon. Looks like it sells new, depending on size. Looks like it sells new in the size for a hundred and ten dollars. That's actually that's nice. 110 bucks, majestic, cool base, men's size, medium, new with tags. Aaron Judge, New York Yankees. It's a good item right there. This sells new for 110 bucks. I'll probably, you know, go with like the quick flip. Probably I'll throw it up on uh, my website eventually for like 80 bucks. That's nice. Okay, we got sandwich bags, keep a nose. Lysol quick gel automatic toilet bowl cleaner. Oh, I'm keeping this for for my own toilet. I'm keeping that Okay, oh, we got another watch right here sky glue professional eyelash extension glue factory sealed Another nine west box Oh, Different watch is nice though nine west does make nice little looking watches New attack, so it has the cover over the face of it. It didn't find it. Barcode did not find it. But it's probably about, you know, another like $30 watch, I bet. You know what? I'll take it in a heartbeat. Another really nice watch. Next we got high power headlamp. So we got, got a headlamp. High power. Good 10, 15 bucks on that. And we got some clothes, of course, and some more clothes. Okay, that looks like, oh, that is a back brace belt. About 10 bucks on that. This is still new with tags. It's a men's size Lex Lee Flex and Go. New with tags. Let me see what the tag pulls up so I can see what it actually is without opening up the package. It's women's Flex to Go relaxed fit cargo Bermuda shorts. Kind of what they look like right there. Out of the package. And sells new for let's see size 10. Sells new for $19.99. 20 bucks for a new pair. You know, like 15 bucks in. Ooh, there's like a long black hair stuck to the tape. That's kind of gross. There's like somebody with extremely long black hair. It's just a random person's hair. X Tech T Sap ta tablet. Oh, a fluoride meter. These can be very, very expensive. Let me look this thing up. Wow, this thing's like. 
been to. Let me take a screenshot of this so I don't lose it. Wow. So this thing sells new on Amazon for $189.39. Whoa. X Tech FL700 fluoride meter. Yeah, I know these things can be expensive. I think they're that expensive though. That is crazy expensive. It's got the box with the black hair stuck to it. It has the instructions in there and the tablets in there. That's a good item. I gotta take off this tape and remove the loose black hairs though because that makes it a little bit hard to sell because it's a little kind of like, if you're a germaphobe like me with phobias, that kind of grosses you out a little bit. So it's new for basically 190 bucks. Even at half price, 100 bucks. That's a fantastic item right there. I'm gonna say at least 100 bucks. More Ziploc bags. The box is destroyed, but I'll keep it. A few things left. We have another, oh, uh, we have a very off-brand, cheapy smartwatch, just off-brand. It's it's kind of junk. Here you got a finger pad, finger lock, padlock. Okay, there's the next one. Finger lock, fingerprint padlock to unlock it. As long as it works, probably good 20, 30 bucks. A few things. Oh, cool, green work. 40 volt max lithium ion battery by green work. I can actually use this. I actually have a battery powered chainsaw by Greenwork that takes a 40 volt battery. It takes 2.0 amp, 40, yep, it takes this battery, cool. So I have another battery for my chainsaw, my battery powered chainsaw. I'll take it, extra battery, awesome. So I'll keep it at, but these batteries new, I think they sell for like 40, 50 bucks. But I, I will be keeping that for my own chainsaw. And a couple things left. We have a little tiny nightlight thing. <laughs> okay. And last item. Oh, we got a purple bra. <laughs> Nothing says in the palette like ended it on a freaking purple bra. But it is brand new with tags. It says it retails for $58. Let me mean, look this thing up. Because it it it's brand new with tags. It will not find a barcode. It will not find it. So it sells new for, for $58. It's like a purpley lacy bra. Size uh, 34A. New with tags. It sells new for $58. Maybe like half that, $30. Bucks. So that's the, that is the end of it. That's all four boxes of camera electronics and general merchandise so that's kind of what i thought it might be hodgepodge with a little bit of electronics sprinkled in that's exactly what it was but i got it for 188 dollars and i've got several items that sell for like 100 bucks a piece in these four boxes so this is going to be extremely profitable i mean i got a brand new aaron judge jersey that's like what 80 to 100 bucks that fluoride thing 100 bucks nintendo wii u 80 bucks there was something else that was expensive. I don't remember what it even was now. But yeah, this, oh, that fold-out thing was like $100 plus, I think. But yeah, this, this will be insanely profitable. And it was fun, it was different. It was a hodgepodge slash electronics. But hopefully though, you guys enjoyed watching this. This is what you can honestly get from a liquidation palette. This is firsthand what you can get. And it was a good palette. It had new stuff in it. It had stuff that was still factory sealed and some stuff that was brand new but just you know box damage like ziploc bags just keep them you're going to use them anyway so thanks for watching and i will see you next time make sure go down below check out my new franchisekicks.com website it's not actually nothing listed yet but there will be stuff listed so go ahead bookmark that page and once i start listing stuff on there once i start transferring all the inventory to that website It'll be updated pretty much every single day with new products. As I go through pallets, it'll be updated with more products for sale. And I have a secondary YouTube channel, Franchise TV, which is a completely live YouTube channel. So make sure if you want to see me on a different channel, Franchise TV, if you want to subscribe to that channel, feel free, go ahead, check it out. So I will see you next time, and I'm out.